Hey YouTube, Gabe here. So, um, last night we got a bunch of new information revealed about what's happening with Vanguard after G ends, and I'm assuming most of you have seen it by now, but if not, I'm going to just go over a bunch of what we learned, um, my, my views on it to some short extent, and just to update you about what's happening. So, they tell us we have a new animation, even though it's just a retelling by retelling of the first season by the um, manga series so just a recording of the manga even though we have characters that aren't from the manga like um 12 year old leon but you know it is what it is it's going to be the manga i wish they just came up with something you know new as opposed to just retelling a story that we already had but animated but you know Whatever, I guess at that point, um, Kyo's gonna be using Murakumo, so that's gonna be some spicy meme content. Um, we got our boy Goku, we have our, our little Justice Boyo in this corner, looking pretty. Aichi's even more of a twink now. Um, everybody looks the same. I wish we had, like, a new animation instead of just the same old damn characters rehashed. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll, we'll deal with it. Um, now on to the important shit. So, the new mechanic is this thing called Imaginary Gift. So, one Bushiroad confirms that all clans are going to get their support, and each clan will have one of the three different um, at Imagine Gifts. So, Imaginary Gifts happen um, when you ride a unit that has the icon. So, in the upper left-hand corner, you have the card that has their grade and their skill, like Twin Drive, Boost, whatever, Imaginary Gift goes below that. So when you write it, you get to do a thing. Um, the three different things are Excel, which um, gives you an additional front row rear guard circle, that, but it can't be boosted, and it gets 10k during your turn. So it's basic, it basically gives you a seventh unit, and if you keep riding, you can keep getting more, I'm pretty sure. So you can just keep getting rear guards, which is pretty hilarious. We have Force, which ch you choose a van or rear guard circle and give it a marker, and wh whatever is on that circle gets 10k. So if um, you have two markers on that from riding um, Force cards twice, it gets 20k. And then you have Protect, where you basically just get an additional PG. So ride grade 3, get a PG, it's pretty lit. Um, the thing that confuses me the most is um, triggers are now going to be give 10k power instead of 5k. So since they're getting rid of G-Zone, the game's inherently becoming a bit slower, so I guess this is the way to make up for it and make it a bit faster by giving thick numbers. And apparently stands are dead, because they're introducing a new type of trigger called the front trigger, which gives your front row 10k. And if you have a bunch of Excel um, imaginary gifts set up, it's going to be broken. Oh, I forgot to mention, I really like this symbol. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. So, product information. So, the TDs are going back to Aichi and Kai. So, we really are starting at our roots. So, it's going to be Blaster Blade and Overlord. Whoops. Um, so we have our, our, our boy Blaster Blade. And we have our boy Dragonic Overlord looking pretty fun. Um, that's all that it is. Um... Next we have, oh, right, so we have our first TD card, which changes what costs look like, like, I'm gonna try to, whoops, gotta scroll down, this is what Counter Blast looks like now, I don't know how I feel about that, but it, it's just, um, cost, so it means pretty much nothing, but whatever, gotta zoom out real quick. Um, yeah, here you can see what a, a new card's gonna look like. Grade 3s are having 13k base power now, which is pretty funny, so permanent cross rides. Um, here's our little symbol. They change what the grade icon looks like, which I'm kind of a fan of. I think it looks a lot cooler now. Um, so our first, um, booster pack is, uh, Q4, Unite Q4, uh, nice Gurgit support there. Um... It's just going to be all the clans that Q4 use, so Royals, Kagura, OTT, and Nova's. 
Um, they're introducing a new rarity called VR or a uh, Vanguard Rare. I'm pretty sure they're just going to be like a GR. So, but like for the new series equivalent. So, who knows how expensive that's going to be? Then we have the SVR, which is a Super Vanguard Rare, which is going to be like the SGR. We have a Secret Rare and the Image Rare. A bit down, they explain what they are. So yeah, Vanguard Rare features a main unit with the insert. Uh, features a main unit, so like, I'm guessing it's going to be Alfred, Overlord, Ashura Kaiser, and Amaterasu. Um, SVR is a hot stamp, so yeah, that's just SGR. The um, Image Ride Rare is just an alt art of Blaster Blade, uh, drawn exclusively by uh, the guy that made the Vanguard manga, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the Secret Rare is... Um, I'm guessing it's going to be an, uh, a hot, like, it's a character gift marker, so it's going to be a marker that's signed by the animation, which is pretty spicy. Uh, and then Origin Rare, which is a new unit, which is an old unit with a new ability, but it's the old art, so instead of, so assuming Alfred Early was the Origin Rare, it would be this card's effect text with the original art with, like, the yellow background, Blaster Blade in the corner and them on the mountain. So I think like these are all pretty fun. What I'm hoping for what I'm hoping for is that um aside from at least Vanguard Rare, these three are just like special rarities like Legion Rare, so you can get the card in a base rarity, but these are just to make it look shinier and not have it be the rarity exclusive, like the mistakes that were GR and ZR. But that's it. Um then if you get a four packs, you get a promo for each clan and their respective um, imaginary gift marker with whatever character is using it. So this is like fan pandering to the finest. So we have the product release schedule now. There's well, the stuff we just talked about. In July, we're getting an EB with Spikes, Tachi, and Mega Colony. So in the manga, Spikes are used by Morikawa. Tachi, is pr I'm pretty sure, is still used by Izaki. So I don't know who's gonna who uses Mega Colony in the manga. I feel I th I'm pretty sure like Asuka has a bondage slave, so maybe we're gonna be getting his deck at that. So I guess that's gonna be there. So that's gonna be cool. Uh, August we have an Aqua Force TD. So we have twelve year old Leon's deck, and then we have Aqua Force Grand Blue and D Police. So. I, I'm not really, like, up-to-date with the manga at all, but, like, that's some fun Goki and Kenji stuff. And then September, we have, um, Shadow TD and the, um, Team Asteroid AL4 booster pack, like, with, uh, the Q4 one, because in the manga, uh, Kyo uses Murakumo for whatever reason, so that's gonna be a pretty interesting one to look at. Now the real fun stuff is, uh, tournament formats, so... At the beginning of G, we got G-Rag, and we got, like, Tag Team and Relay Fight, and, like, the 2v1, but those are all useless. These are actual formats, like, in Magic. So we have the standard format, which is, if you were here at the beginning of G, you had, like, the units that had the, the flag icon, and G-Rag, you could only use cards that had the flag icon. So you could only use things from the beginning of the G until the end of G. Standard is that with the new mechanic, so you can only use stuff from the new um, VTD. So you don't need any old cards, you don't need to know any old cards, but you can't use anything you already have. That's fine though, because um, the new mechanic doesn't get, have G units, so you don't need to spend an additional $200 on 16 cards. So Standard formats, um, the cheap format, which is lit. Then there's premium, which is a combination of G and post of pre G, pre G, and post G. So you can use everything you have, and you can make a wide like there's a bunch of shit you can do, which sounds pretty interesting. Like being able to combine everything seems like it's going to be pretty lit. But if you're new to the game, it's going to be a lot harder to learn that way, so start with Standard and then move to Premium if you want to experience G. And then there's G Format, which is just using exactly what you have, but you can't use any of the new stuff. So if you're poor, you just keep your stuff and you play pure G. But it'll just be what it is because G isn't really being supported anymore. 
So also, in terms of the tourney structure, which I think is pretty sick, um, they're creating a transition period to help, like, ease into the new, like, regulations. So Standard is starting with the release of the new product, and there's also going to be G-format tourneys up until November, and then there's going to be some premium just for those people, and then it's going to be all Standard and premium. G-format will only be supported if your locals wants it, but, and, like, that's just what it is. And then here's basically the, the same thing. I don't know why they needed it twice, but whatever. So here's the shop tourney schedule with, um, for the first section, it's going to be G format, premium format, standard format, and then just premium and standard. So, and then how this works into the Boucher Road, like worlds and regionals events is you can play, there's going to be standard and premium events. So each tournament will have two different tournaments you can enter if you want to play standard or premium. So this is really good. If you want to be like hyper skilled and drop a lot of money, you can do premium with all the new shit and G. Or if you want to be like poor or just you don't, for whatever reason, you don't like the G era, you can play standard. And both will take you to worlds, which is, I think is pretty great being able to do that, which is lit. Um, here's the thing, giving you the free half decks. Bermuda's getting an anime, which is, we don't need to talk about that. We're getting Vanguard Zero or a Vanguard Link, uh, Dual Links, so that is what that is. Um, some story mode card fighting. So, initial impressions, so, before I'm not going to say a whole lot on all of this, because me, Miles, and Jose are probably going to talk about the new stuff on Friday, just all of us together, but I'm actually pretty hyped for this, because... While I love G and Stride as a mechanic and G Guards too, it's so expensive and I don't want to drop a lot of money anymore, so this lets me save it, which is great. Um, I actually really like the idea of the gifts, though I think Excel is probably going to be the best one, just because if you keep writing Excel, you can get like eight cards on the field and make front triggers, real, front triggers really broken and get like 12 fucking attacks, so I'm guessing... The, like, on paper, Excel is probably going to be the best, but obviously we have to wait for support. I like how stand triggers are basically dead, because stands are the worst trigger. You only run them because they have good skills. Nobody really wants to run stands, and just ramming up power with front triggers is pretty dope. I don't really like how we're doing a reboot, like, a complete reboot. Like, I like the idea of no G-Zone and, like, the new triggers and all of that, I just wish the anime was, like, new characters and not just the manga. So, um, whatever. That is what it is. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but, uh, thanks for watching. Oh, actually, there is one important thing that I forgot to mention. It's on top of all of this, Vanguard is also changing some of the rules in the game itself. I gotta pull those up really quickly. They're on my phone. Um... Sorry. So, you got we have a couple pretty good rules. So, you know at the beginning how you get your redraw where you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw the same amount? That's being changed to you put the cards you shuffle in instead at the bottom of your deck and draw, so your odds of drawing the same ones are a lot more reduced, and you shuffle after you um, draw your new one. And I think that's really good, because... Being able to draw the cards that you don't want to draw is pretty dumb, and it does kind of increase your chances of seeing the grade you need, which is pretty lit. Um, they changed stride to, you can stride if either both players are at grade 3, or your vanguard was at grade 3 at the start of your turn. So, if um your opponent's playing like a, a rush deck like Rippler 7Cs, you're still allowed to stride regularly, which we needed a long, long time ago. But... Seabreeze is still going to be played probably because of that. I think that's a really, really good change just because while, yeah, getting first stride gives it pre gives a lot of advantage, I think getting rid of decks like Ripple and Seven Seas is much more important to the overall health of the game. With the new mechanic that um in, in standard format, G-Assist is the exact same except you don't need to remove G-Units, so you're still allowed to do the assist even if you are playing premium, which I think... Well, I think getting rid, I think, like, it, G-Assist is too cost-heavy. The fact that they're still letting you do it is really good. And, um, now, when you guard, you don't need a Vanguard of the same 
or greater grade. So if you're grade one, you're allowed to guard with grade twos, which I think is pretty good. And I think it's stupid that you couldn't really do that at the beginning. And what you can do now is if you have a grade that you don't want to ride, you can guard with it and then just G assist and try to get the grade you want, which I think is pretty, like the specific card you want, which is pretty good. And also, um, one, auto once per turn abilities don't have to work the first time that you meet the condition. So like, if you're playing Novas and you have Golsachi and you attack the Vanguard, it has a once per turn clause, so you, it, how it used to work is you would have to use it on Golsachi's first attack on the Vanguard. Now you can attack with Golsachi to Vanguard and not use its skill, and if Golsachi restands, you can still use Golsachi's skill the next time it attacks, so I think it's a great change. I think it's stupid that that was also a rule that we had, but um, the fact that they're changing it is great. I'm really excited for these changes. Uh, this era is going to be new. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and catch you next time.